Requirement Yogi for Confluence has built-in support for baselines and versioning. When your customer sends new requirements, you will want to keep track of versions. The baselines take a snapshot of the current requirements, allowing you to do just that. There are three ways to create a baseline. To create a baseline for all requirements in a space, go to the Baselines tab, create a new baseline, and choose its name. You have the option to freeze the requirements now or later if you're anticipating a future baseline and choose if you want to create a specific page for the baseline. And just like that, you're done. To create a baseline for a subset of requirements, select them on the search screen, click Action, create baseline, and follow the same steps. To create a baseline for just one page, click on the byline on top of the page and click on Create Baseline from this page. Now, let's see how to view a baseline. Once a baseline is created, if you click Show All Versions in the Search, it will display the most current version at the top and all archived versions below, with a subtle gray background. This is the proof that we keep a copy of requirements at a given point in time. Editing pages will only ever edit the current version of the requirements. Those versions of requirements can also be navigated in the pop-up by clicking the left and right arrows. Baselined requirements have the baseline number in the canonical URL. This URL can be pasted on a page and it becomes a link to the baselined requirement. This URL can also be pasted in the search box in JIRA when you want to add a link. Alternatively, in this dialog, you can first select the baseline, then search for a requirement, and only requirements from this baseline will be displayed. The dialog remembers the last chosen baseline on all issues of the same project. The JIRA dialog is quite powerful. After a baseline was created, your developers will most certainly want to update the JIRA issue. When you select the new baseline in the criteria, click Actions, Show Baseline Upgrades and Downgrades. This will allow you to upgrade requirements to the selected baseline. Finally, to track the differences between baselines, go to the Baseline tab. Select one baseline to compare with the current requirements, or two baselines to compare them between each other, and click on Generate a Diff. You are now in the Diff tab. You can choose to display specific data and compare specific fields such as the description, properties, dependencies, and others. Click on Generate Diff and let the magic work. What has been added will be highlighted in green and what has been removed in red. Just like the Search tab and Traceability matrix, the diff is limited to 600 requirements on display. If you want to see more, you can always configure this number in the Global Limit Configuration but system administrators need to ensure it won't cause performance issues. The baseline feature is powerful because you can almost use it everywhere. However, it has limitations. We don't have branches. It means you can't imagine two diverging versions of your documents. We don't track each little change on requirements. It is not recommended to create baselines every day, and it will not track who made the changes anyway. To see this information, simply go to the page where requirements were defined and open the page history. It will display what was modified and when. And we're done for the baselines feature. If you need more information, check out our documentation and to learn about our other features, look at our other tutorials.